Is it taking sound as well? Or just... Oh, yeah, yeah, it's doing sound as well. Oh, yeah. sound. Yeah, don't worry, I will be editing it, so we'll, oh, right. we'll chop all the... You know. <laughs> Damn! Yeah. I was going to say, oh, fuck. A thog video. Hi, and welcome to Man Eating. I'm Mike. Uh, I'm Graham. Yeah, I'm, I'm his dad. Yes, yes, we're, we're, we are related. Um, now, today, we're going to look at Australian biscuits. Um, this is mainly because my wife's just come back from Australia, and she bought me biscuits. And this seems like a good way to pretend that I'm doing something useful rather than just eating biscuits. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. So, yeah, so, yeah we, we, we're creating content this afternoon. You know, we are, yeah, we're being creative. We're not just eating biscuits. So, uh, And we want to express how much we appreciate biscuits. Exactly. Life has had a month or so's holiday in Australia while some people struggle to um, look after the kids, run the house, hold a full-time job down, and we are rewarded with Australian biscuits. Hmm. Perish the thing, exactly. anything alcoholic. So, <laughs> probably won't get through customs. Uh, admin, admin, oh, pain no. in the Dreadful right. Oh, at this on. point, I realise I've I've, missed, I've left one of the biscuits at home. But anyway, we'll eat the other ones. Okay, right. So kick off, and we might have to share some of the biscuits because we've only got one one left. This, these are Tim Tams, and they are very, very popular in, in Australia, so I'm going to understand. Um, this is a double coat Tim Tam. Um, Almost Australia exporting to the world, apparently. Um, made in, in New Zealand, it looks like. New Zealand or, anyway, that way. Right. Long way away. Unless you're yeah. in Australia, in which case it's very close. Yeah. So this, this is a Tim Tam. We do have hot drinks available, so should we need to... Uh, dip a biscuit that is a possibility uh, there you go lad. thank you thank you very much okay so it looks it looks a bit like a sort of like a hardcore penguin hmm I enjoy it like a penguin I would say there is a great similarity with penguins. Mm. If you took two thin penguins mm. and glued them together with chocolate, mm. this is what you'd have. Yeah. So it's true that penguins are a UK biscuit. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about the the black and white. So no, 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 no. I'd like. I quite like to try eating the penguin. I believe they're probably taste rather fishy. No. Mm. Uh, I'll see with the chocolate. Thank okay, you. Okay, fair. So that's that's a that's a stand that's a double chocolate tim tam. This is a fancy salted caramel and vanilla tim tam. Mm. It it smells very. It smells strong. It smells yeah, yeah. It does not smell? So apparently, Australian chocolate has got some kind of additive in it to withstand high temperatures. Very sensible. Mm. It's um, fairly warm down there. Mm. This is amazingly similar to the previous Tim Tam, but it's got a, a hint of caramel flavour to it. Mm. Otherwise, it's a penguin. Mm. It comes out particularly in vanilla. It's mm. salted caramel, yeah. Mm. 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 I imagine... Mm. Yeah. It's a penguin. I'm sure if I was eating the normal Tim Tam every day, that would make a nice shake. But for me, I prefer the, the basic, traditional Tim Tam, mm -hmm. I would say. Right, so what else we got? Stick with penguins. Yeah. Right, Kit Kats, which, we, which we're familiar with Kit Kats. But these are Raspberry Cheesecake Duo Kit Kats. Really? I know. It's amazing, isn't it? Peel open, share and re-close. I have seen these before. I don't generally share them. Mm -hmm. I generally open them and then eat them. And then that's the end of it. Now, these have travelled from Melbourne, so they are somewhat battered, a couple of these packages. I think there's a mainly bit in the middle. So, it, rather than being like just two fingers, like a normal Kit Kat, it's actually one massive loads of fingers. 
Uh, oh, there's quite um, there you go. Um Can I have half of that, please? Half of that? You can yeah. have half of that. They are, they're actually designed to, to be snapped in half. Jolly it's good. a nice feature. Mm. 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 It's a cat with a very strong flavour of raspberry, which isn't unpleasant. Again, it's been nice change. Yeah, yeah, that says it all. Hmm. 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 <sighs> it is interesting to see because I did a I did a video. On Norwegian sweets. Right. When I came back from Norway. Mm -hmm. Norwegian sweets are all weird. And personally, I didn't really like any of them. All right. Some of them I dislike less than others. But none of them you went, wow, I can't believe this is in development in the UK. Sugar um, coated herring or um, that sort of thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, they seem to be. Yeah, anyway. And um, most of these. You could, re you know, you wouldn't be blown away if these were sold in your normal not in the supermarket. Least. No, um, in the UK. Okay, now these fields have been quite badly crumbled. These are pods with Mars. Pods with Mars. Yeah. Mars, Mars, Mars. Yes. Mars. Yeah, I'm familiar with what Mars is. Mhm. Mm so apparently, it's a crunchy baked wafer that's ingeniously shaped like a shell. This is something which, if you're not prepared for it, makes you sort of take a back step and go, wow, mm. ingeniously shaped shell. Yeah, well, right. that's, what, that's what I'm warning you before I open it. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to, you know. No, no. Yeah, so that, and then there's creamy milk chocolate on the top, and a yummy dollop of Mars caramel inside. Of what? Yeah, Mars caramel. Mars caramel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not just any caramel, it is Mars caramel. Fine. This is made. Made in Australia. You just wonder with some of these things, you know, you get them and you're like, there's something that, that my wife Kate brought back. Mm -hmm. I can't remember, it might be a scarf or something. And he's like, da, 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 like, oh, I think it was a mug, Australian mug. And oh, got right. like a map of Australia and kangaroos and stuff. Wow, like that. I'm impressed. Yeah, and mm. it's made in China. Well, that looks really, they, they look, I don't know if you can see that, but they look really quite exciting. You know, quite. Yeah, well. Right. Yes, yes, well, yes, indeed. Yes. Yeah. I can't what, wait. What they actually look like. Ah! Is. Right. A little um, bit more basic. A dollop of something in a um, half form dollop of something else. Let's have a taste. Hmm. First impression. Um. It's mm. not as Marsy as a Mars bar. No. It is um, yeah. vaguely kind of milk chocolatey ish, sort of diluted down a bit in a crispy um, wafer. Mm. Cunningly shaped, or amazingly shaped wafer mm. um, um, lump. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That is not my most favourite. Of um, entirely edible if you're hungry, but yeah. um, you wouldn't cross the road to go and buy one. Yeah, of of all the things which I love about Australia, there are many. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I can't think of any immediately, but I'm sure there are some. Mm, about me, about kangaroos me. and stuff. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. um, they're not one of them. I believe yeah. in in some places in Australia, prostitution is legal, and that is only to be applauded. However, those biscuits, um, no. Yeah. Yeah. Right, uh, this is a cherry ripe, double dipped. Double dipped cherry ripe. Right. Yeah, Cadbury's. Um, mm -hmm. Made. All these seem to have a standard line, which is made in Australia from imported and local ingredients. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure why I have to say imported and local, because if it's imported and local, then it's just ingredients. Entirely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So anyway, 
It's a bit like products which say made with. Mm. Not entirely composed of, but with. Mm. Didn't mean anything. Um, um, actually, I'm just thinking about this. Mm-hmm. Right, have a smell of this and see. This is what I was um, yeah. thinking about. By all means, tell them the story. Mm-hmm. No. Okay. No. Um, cherry sometimes tastes and smells of cherry, and almond sometimes tastes of almond and smells of almond. However, both these products occasionally, to my mind, and I realise I'm strange, um, smell of cyanide. And you only need the vaguest hints of this um, aroma for me to say, no, back, no, go away. Um, sorry, definitely not. Mm. No. As, as a trained industrial chemist. I was an industrial chemist for mm. 20 years for my sins, mm. and um, we didn't have many people die of cyanide poisoning, but regrettably it did occur occasionally, mm. at least once, which was once far too often, and um, I really, really, really would not want to uh, experience that. Mm. So, yeah. We used to have a one in the corner of the laboratory, there was two bottles, uh, and it was labelled, if you think, imagine, or if there's a vaguest chance you may have ingested cyanide, mix bottle A with m bottle B and drink it immediately, and do it really, really quickly, and you might still live. So, hence, I'm not awfully keen on the substance. Mm. There we go. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, it's, um, yeah, it's all right. It's got, um, it's coconut in, it's kind of, um... Cherry flavoured coconut coated mm -hmm. in dark chocolate, which I think is dark chocolate machine. Well, it's looking fairly dark, so. Mm. I'd like to say, Chair, I have nothing against dark chocolate or coconut. Mm. Excellent products, mm. most delightful. Mm. 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 Not bad. Um, the dark chocolate is really nice. Mm -hmm. The coconutty stuff is all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you probably have one of those for a change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Um, in here, I'm now going to edit a bit about Anzac biscuits, which I forgot to bring with me today. Hi. So this is just going to be really neatly edited into the rest of the video. Anzac biscuits, because I forgot to bring them when I did the video with my dad. Um, Anzac Biscuits, limited edition Anzac Biscuits, a little bit of history. Uh, Unibic Anzac Biscuits um, commemorate all Australians who d served and died in war and on, on operational service. Um, the Anzac Biscuit, um, as it is known today, came to take its special place in history during World War One. Made with oats, coconut, golden syrup and no eggs, these biscuits were able to stay fresh for long periods of time. Um, so they could last the time he took to get to the soldiers. So, yeah. Yeah, awesome. So Anzac biscuits. Um, it's a little baked biscuit. A little crummy biscuit. Um, you can s smell a little bit of coconut there. Um, reasonably crunchy. Not bad. But... I suspect they'll be better dipped. So I made a cup of tea just for this. Actually with coconut milk, so maybe it'll work it even better with the coconut. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Good biscuit. Even better dipped. Okay, on with the rest of the video. Okay, now I've edited in that bit from Anzac Biscuits, which were really good or really bad or meh, depending on whatever I said in that last bit. Um, we've now got the, our last thing for today is Frogs Alive. Um, with no artificial colours. No artificial colours. Believe it or not, they are genuinely discolored colour normally. Hmm. 
they are a little bit of fun since 1891 um, by Allens. They're Australian made. Um, and there's 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 none of this bollocks about um, ingredients from local and imported. Right. There's none of that on these. These are just there you go. Frogs alive. I'm assuming these are Australian. Or oh, they're probably imported. There you go. Um just so you know your if you go have a portion, mm-hmm. the portion is five. A portion's five. Five frogs. Five frogs. So don't mess with it by having six, you know. Mmm. Huh? Alan's frogs are a kind of hard jelly, mm. fairly chewy. Mm. Um, if you've got any fears about being overpowered by the flavour, don't worry, you won't be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, these are raspy flavour ones, and when you get one, mm-hmm. if you smell it, ah. it's a bit like a fruit tea. You smell it, and you go, oh yeah, it's a bit of raspy there. Hmm, yeah, might be nice. Mm-hmm. And then you eat it, and there is some flavour there, but I can't say it's raspy flavour. If you've ever eaten raspberry jelly, wow, that is an m- order of magnitude more flavoursome than these. Mm. So, if you like things to be vaguely flavoured in a certain way, these are a winner. Mm, definitely, yeah. If you, if, you, if you like things that don't taste me anything... Frogs alive that's, is the way to go. Thank you, young man. Yeah, that I, was um, most um, enjoyable. Quite welcome. I think we've all learned something today, which is, you know, to basically say the Tim Tams are probably the best mm-hmm. um, out of the selection. Yes. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, then please do like and share and subscribe and comment and do all those amazing things. And basically send me lots of money. Um, or some Tim Tams. That would be good. Um, Failing that. And greens for the win. Mm. Yeah. See you again soon. Bye. Bye.